love animals. And so, I want to be a veterinary doctor. Is it a good option? This is a question that I have been asked a lot of times. Tell me, who are the right people who can authentically give information about a profession? It's none other than the people who are living in that profession. And that's what exactly we do through the series called How to Begin. We have professionals who are experienced in that profession talking about their profession, the courses which lead to that profession and so many things as such. If you wish to listen to such information, please like, share, subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Today, we have a veterinary doctor with us who will be explaining about veterinary course in detail. Welcome Dr. Shafiq. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. The undergraduation course for becoming a veterinary doctor in India is called BBSC and AH. Could you please explain what BBSC and AH is? The full form of BBSC and AH is Bachelor of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry. So technically it has two parts, Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry. So you will be getting a degree of Bachelor of Veterinary Science as well as Animal Husbandry. So you will be spending like four and a half years in the college you are admitted to, studying a lot of courses, practicing in the clinics, um, treating farm animals, practicing um, different techniques and skills in, in the college. After four and a half years, you will be going out to different veterinary polyclinic as well as various farms and other institutes for residency or internship. When it comes to MBBS and veterinary, is it like uh, first few years you study the same syllabus and then you turn into something else or like how does it go? So MBBS and veterinary courses have similarities it is not exactly the same but we can say it is similar for example biochemistry they are most probably they are exactly the same but anatomy will be different and the physiology will be similar but there will be some exception since we know that the animals the physiology will change right similar to the anatomy but the biochemistry will be almost same so first few years as well not only in first few years even in the third and fourth year, if you are studying the veterinary microbiology, microbiology is almost same in humans and animals. The tuberculosis is same. So there are differences, but I am saying the same bacteria can go diseases both in human and animal. So you'll be studying both. As well as the veterinary pharmacology, this is almost similar to the human pharmacology because the mechanism of action of drugs and everything is same. But when you go to the clinical medicine, it will be different. Livestock production management, livestock um, production technology, those kind of stuff will be different from MBBS. The surgery will be different. Obviously, gynecology will be different. So there are differences and a lot of similarities between MBBS as well as veterinary. I was just thinking, when it comes to human anatomy, it's hardly like male and female, right? But yeah. Animal anatomy, there will be so many things to learn. So does that mean veterinary is a little difficult when compared to MBBS? Yeah, you are right. Actually, um, anatomy is one of the most difficult course. Especially you will be switching from a plus two to a professional degree. And in the first year itself, the anatomy will start. So for veterinary anatomy, you have to study the different anatomy of cat, dog, um, horse, sheep, goat, cows. So all these have different anatomies and different body parts. Number of bones will be different. Different locations uh, will be different. The muscles will be different. So you have to remember a lot of names, a lot of different structures from different species. For that reason itself, the veterinary anatomy is one of the toughest subjects. Plus, you are really fresh into the course. So the anatomy is one of the toughest for most of the people in veterinary. Yeah. So after completing the bachelor's course in veterinary science, if somebody wants to be a practicing doctor and want to pursue a further degree in that, then what are the options? So no matter what course you are taking after veterinary, in India, the course is Master of Veterinary Science. So before you can go for PhD, you should have MVSE. So you can specialize in surgery, gynecology, 
epidemiology clinical medicine wildlife so there are a lot of different courses you can spra- uh, specialize in as a practicing veterinarian but depending on the college you are going to get admission the course can vary so surgery gynecology clinical medicine these are the co- and also anesthesia so all of these courses have mvsc and the duration is 2 years and this is the first step if you want to be a, a specialization in one of these areas now if we decide not to be a practicing veterinarian and we want to diversify into something else then what are the options in india in india um the most common um opportunity you can if you are not going to be a practicing veterinarian the insurance agent that's a one of the option and you can be a food inspector so that's mainly employed by the state or local government or you can be a like a um management area you can go to the iim and get a management degree so that these are the most common area people go after veterinary degree once they decide not to go for a practicing veterinarian field or you can go to the ivr institute let's say just ivr to get ph uh, pg and phd in various veterinary science degrees such as veterinary anatomy physiology and go for a research field so you can go for research and other areas once you decide not to go for a practicing veterinary field doctor right now you are in us and you are doing your yeah. research, right yeah what sort of a research are you doing what is your subject so i started my research to control salmonella infection in poultry using probiotics so we know that in us especially the salmonella is the leading cause of death among all the food borne pathogens so when people consume contaminated poultry meat as well as um, egg and other meat they will get infected with salmonella and if the uh, people if the people are like really old or they have any other diseases they, they there is a good chance of mortality so in order to control salmonella outbreak in us it is really important that we control salmonella infection in chicken and people consume a lot of chicken here so that was my first area of research where i was using probiotics which are the good bacteria in our body they can so that they can control salmonella in chicken and thereby prevent salmonella outbreaks then i uh, once i got my phd i moved to a different field where i am studying right now about type 2 diabetes mellitus as well as insulin resistance how the mitochondria which is the power source of our cells or our body mitochondria react during this um fatty uh, non alcoholic fatty liver disease insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes yeah when you were explaining about your research topic like we could see there's a lot of connection between animal science and human science because exactly, what exactly yeah that we are getting if we don't like check it properly maybe like the sources are from animals right yeah so there's a huge scope of research could you yeah no more light on the huge scope of research that is in trend of people who are completing veterinary science so if you look at the data for example almost like 75% of um, zoonotic infection or they are the sources are animals so you can get lot of diseases from animals look at the covid-19 right now so it is supposed to be coming from uh, bats so bat has a lot of a uh, virus that can be like a really uh, contagious and detrimental to humans so there is now the concept of treating a disease is through one health which means when we take a disease or a pandemic we consider as one health which involves human health veterinary health as well as environmental health so all these are all these three are really connected so it is really important that we control infections in uh, animals because we have a really close contact with the pets as well as the farm animals so for example birds they will have a lot of virus and as well as the bacteria those virus and bacteria for example when i was studying salmonella they won't cause any diseases to the chicken so there are salmonella which can cause diseases to chicken but the salmonella were 
that is detrimental to human won't cause any disease in chicken but it act as a carrier so if you want to prevent a lot of outbreaks it is really important that you prevent disease in in, in the animals so there is like a huge connection between the humans as well as animals so that we can prevent a lot of diseases and moreover that if you want to study any diseases for example if you want to study um in my case i am studying uh, fatty liver disease so you cannot make a human having a fatty liver by injecting a lot of carbohydrate or a lot of sugar but you can make a mice or rat having fatty liver by by feeding a lot of high energy uh, food so if you want to study a disease model so we are sacrificing animals as a mod model of disease so for most of the diseases if it is a bacterial disease a viral disease and metabolic disease so you will use animal models so that you can control the human infection and find novel therapeutic agent so there are a lot of connections and veterinarians help is really needed to prevent all these diseases that was a very interesting information when it comes to mbbs we know that there is aims jipmer and a lot of institutes as such which has got national importance for veterinary science what are the institutes that are really popular so when it comes to veterinary science most of the courses or degrees are offered by the state government or the university is owned by the state or controlled by the state so there are no institutions such as aims or jipmer which provide graduate degrees or bbsc and as in the national level but once you graduate you can go to the institute such as ivra which is very prestigious and it is controlled by the central government and it has a lot of research opportunity and it is an entirely research institute so they don't offer a veterinary um, veterinary degree but they will offer masters as well as phd and postdoctoral uh, degrees so ivr is one of the most prestigious institute i would say and there are a lot of different colleges and universities in throughout the india you can go for and there are some or five or six private veterinary colleges you can join for a veterinary degree for every person to take a brainy course there should be a certain aptitude and skill when it comes to veterinary yeah. what are the aptitude and skills required for someone to pursue this course so that's a tricky question so this is my personal opinion i would say so i would say there are maybe four or five aptitude or skills you have to be if you want to be a practicing veterinarian or you want to do research in veterinary field the first one is observation so that is obvious right because our patients won't speak to us so if you want to be a veterinarian you have to observe the animal which is your uh, patient so that's one of the key skill you have to develop or you should have if you are going to be a veterinary field other than observation you should have um, empathy or you should be a compassionate patient as well as you should have persistence and patience so these are the four skills you should have if you are going to be in the veterinary field because the iq and education you will definitely have otherwise you wouldn't think about going to a professional degree so everyone has their own capability other than you have to develop these skills especially as a observation patience and persistence if you want to uh, excel in the veterinary field thank you so much dr shafiq for sharing such wonderful information with us and i'm sure that people would have got benefited from the session thank you so much thank you so much for having me here i'm really appreciate appreciate your this effort and i hope the lot of people will be motivated by this initiative and if you have any more questions i am free to help you thank you yeah in india if you are planning to join the veterinary undergraduate program then you should mandatorily write the examination which is called neet the medical entrance examination and i'm sure you'll have lot other confusions and questions don't hesitate to send in your questions as comments to this video we will make sure that we get back to you Thank you so much.